Alrighty, mega exciting uh, morning. We're down here at SCD Performance in Brendale, uh, in Brisbane here. We've had an awesome morning so far. Uh, been on our uh, coaching call of our online business. Super hyped up and now we're out here about to go uh, drive uh, a, a, a couple of Rams. And one of them being the Ram TRX. This is the uh, supercharged Hemi. I've been, the amount of hours I've put into looking at videos like since, this, since this thing first come out and all that. Unfortunately, I just don't think it's going to work with weights towing a caravan, but one day I'm going to own one of these things. This is a fun car for driving the sand. Imagine how freaking good it'd be that. So good. You, you're more obsessed with a supercharged one than I me. I love, I'm a petrol head now. I love V8, <laughs> I love superchargers. I love it all. You're very good at whining. That's uh, <laughs> that's a definitely, definitely sure. So we're going to be able to uh, take one of them for a uh, test drive today. We're going to have a bit of a look around. Because as you know, we are in the market for looking at, you know, we've got the got the Y62 sitting here. The shears served us extremely like well. Baby. We love it, but there's always one guy that's got a bigger bonnet than you. So you always try not to hang out these kind of guys, especially when your partner's around. But yeah, especially when your partner's <laughs> around, but they're out there. You think your bonnet's big, there's always someone's got a big one. So we've also got this one here, which is the, the power wagon. Uh, this is Michael, the uh, one of the guys from SCD here. Uh, you would have probably seen this thing online. It is an absolute beast seen it in person. I'm really, really liking this version, which we're going to uh, sort of go into details a bit later, but we're going to be checking out. I've got where they uh, manu remanufacture. These guys do the conversions just across the road. So this is pretty cool to see. It's a cool area out here. Like there's so many guys out here. Like you see airbag man driving yeah, past Brind and like- Brindale is the place. It's just like, everyone's out here. So it's pretty cool. We're excited to just go out uh, and who knows, maybe at the end of the day. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to just, I think uh, I, I, either way, I'm going to be very, very bloody happy. Let's do it. One of the main things that kind of is just not stopping me, but it's obviously just something you're going to have to sort of live with or it's going to be different, I think. It's just like the, the diff clearance on like these rams between the patrols. That's one good thing about the IFS front rear of the patrol. The diff clearance you have in these things is just absolutely ridiculous. So I'll give you a quick look, just as a quick example. These are both on 35s. Like obviously you've got your arms and that down there. You go over to the patrol. It's just so much more clearance. So much less step, less stuff hanging out, uh, hanging down. I think the, one of the things that would fix that is maybe putting 40s or something <laughs> on one of these things. It'd definitely be something good to have. Uh, 37s would get it off the ground uh, that that little bit more. But again, the, the the thing I really like about the power wagon is keeping that petrol, which I really really like. And you also they have uh, disconnecting sway bars on it, so these things actually flex ridiculously, especially for a truck. So I'm not sure if I got to get out and uh, if you go go on YouTube, there's some good videos out there of these things in action, even in standard trim. So that would definitely help. I think it's just gonna come down to those rocky sort of step up tracks, which when you think about it, we don't do, we love it, but we don't do it a massive amount. Like the biggest job we do now is towing and touring, no matter how much we like it. We do it full time. The biggest hours, the biggest Ks are with that caravan on the back, but that's definitely one thing. Everyone says, oh, you're not going to go off road. I think that's bullshit. You definitely will be able to go off road, but to the extent of the patrol, probably not. But at the same time, we can't tow what we want to tow with the patrol and all that stuff. So there's pros and cons to everything. This is what's been doing my head in for so freaking long. But hopefully by the end of the day, if you're in the same situation, maybe we can help and uh, get through this together. Hello, pups. <laughs> I should have brought you a treat, naughty thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I get that sort of welcome. <laughs> what do I get that sort of welcome? You want to kiss? I'll give you a kiss if you really want. Hey, hey. Oh, because everybody always comes and says hi to you guys first, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it just rams. You just want to drive. Uh, I want to drive a black ram, a white yeah. ram, a blue ram. Uh, well, we've driven a diesel, like the 2500 diesel. But yeah, obviously it's the big good. one. I know you want to go fast in the T-Rex, so. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Cool Maybe we we'll just go back to a camper trail and I can get one. Hey? <laughs> Maybe we just buy a camper trail, live in a camper trail. No, no, <laughs> no. Because what will happen is you'll be ripping through and going, I can't even feel the camper trails because the drawbar is dragging behind you, right? There'll be nothing left of the camper trail. So, no, they're, they're wild fun, but they're not fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
Well, when we have our big house one day, we we'll just your property, my yeah. Sunday yes. car. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Well, hey, you can drive for now, and we'll get from there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll run you through the shed here. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, fine. I know oh, they're pink. <laughs> If no one ever keeps the pink vests. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have one for you, George. Instead of going the full canopy setup, yeah, you almost do, yeah. we do like yeah. a hidden battery, so it's hidden actually up and underneath here. So probably the big thing about us is like, we don't just buy accessories and install. We end up making a lot of our own. Because yeah. you guys in America definitely don't use these trucks how we Not use like them we in Australia. Yeah, 100%. So this is kind of like almost like the canopy uh, alteration per se. So you've got your battery in there, we've got a compressor mounted underneath here, like a TJM dual compressor. Here's the fridge slides going on there. Yeah. The electric corner, the rack, it's kind of, uh, it's enough for everything yeah, instead of a full canopy. So yeah, and yeah, you've got, yeah, you've got your recovery boards and all that stuff up yeah, there. Yeah, so I had the, all that prior, but it's hard. Once you have a canopy, you can't yeah. really go back, but a hey, 20 grand setup versus 60 uh, grand setup, it's mm. a pretty... So as you can press left or right and through there. So you've got oh, snow, you've got tow mode, which yeah. is shouldn't be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've got sport mode. Yeah, but, yeah sick. So this, once you start playing with this different mode, yeah, sport mode. pretty sure. Oh, okay, we'll go to the performance pages. Page. So this will load up and just show all your different dials yeah. that are coming through. Um, all right, let's go throw in reverse and it is a wide yeah, I know, truck. That's the wide one girl. thing yeah. with these is like wider than a 2500. Yeah, right. Obviously, yeah, there's no um, flares on it. It's just the, yeah, you, you'd be expecting a few pinstripes. Yeah. So the 1500 and the 2500 are the same width. Um, yeah, right. The only difference is they're marginally longer, both in wheelbase and the tub. So yeah, for the old 1500s and the old 20 on the current 2500s, they have the same cab size. And right. All that was different was slightly longer chassis. We're leaving it in a rooftop tent in the TRX. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get rid of that sound? It's really <laughs> T-Rex versus the Raptor. Yeah. So, pull that out. And right here, you might see insignia. You got a dead Raptor in the mouth of a T-Rex. <laughs> That's awesome. I never seen Just that a before. nice little dig, eh? <laughs> that is awesome. I love how it's all hidden behind this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything from the firewall forward with our conversions remains absolutely factory. So the steering right. box, everything that remains on the right-hand side. Um, whoop, whoop, left-hand side of the vehicle. Um, what that allows us to do is you need any parts, we can air freight it straight out of the States. So, yeah, paint broken, we don't touch it. There's other mobs that will take the whole cab off the, the chassis and they'll rebuild the motor, put it all back together. We can leave all that alone. Mm -hmm. um, for the um, steering, well, basically it will be, in, well this is the um, mm. brake booster I believe. Yep. So you have a bevel box here, comes up, runs across the other side and goes back down. Yep. Same thing with the steering, you have that come through as well. It's all instantaneous. Yeah. 
So it, it just, yeah. it's just a simplified conversion for us and that's why we have a very, very low warranty rate. Any warranty issues you'd have are just general vehicle warranty issues and not the, the conversion one. So yeah. That's why we put a five year warranty on yeah, our truck yeah, as well, yeah. it's kind of cool. Yeah. Take them on and put that together. So yeah, that's where the steering box will come through here. We'll be mounted in another one and the steering wheel comes out through there. Yeah. You see all the brake pedals and the well, the accelerator is all electric anyway. But, yeah. Um, yeah, the brake brake pedal that's a pretty strong brake pedal. So. Yeah. And then yeah, all of our heater boxes are all built in house as well. So I think from factory the aircon comes out at like 18 k's an hour. Yeah. Ours, the way we change it, comes out 25 k's an hour yeah, as well. More, yeah. And we put in a dedicated booster in the back here for the Georgia yeah. in the back. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jumped in this. This is as much as fun as that TRX was. That was just freaking amazing, absolutely amazing. So we get jumped into Mike's. This is the power wagon now. So this is the this has got the petrol Hemi in it. So I'm really really excited to drive this. This is what we've sort of been petrol diesel, but this this one has a lot more. It comes it's made more for off road. So which is sort of what me what sort of dragged me to it. Um, but yeah, I've never ever driven one because you can't get these through Ram Australia now. Oh, for now, I don't know if they're going to do that in the future or whatever, but. This is what I've been excited to drive. Obviously, it's not going to be like the TRX. Even the Patrol is going to feel like a friggin' uh, Hyundai XL after <laughs> after driving that thing. That was just badass. I'm just so friggin' stoked I got to drive that thing. But I think this is going to sound pretty good still. <laughs> it sounds friggin' tough. So this thing's full decked out to travel Australia. Like this, this is just showing us through the canopy then, and it is uh, it is sick. Like it is absolutely perfect for. Kind of, kind of what we what we would do. So yeah, I've never driven a tour like this before, I guess. So let's take it for a spin. All right, well this thing's really, really nice to drive, especially if, like I think it's about 4.1 ton um, unloaded. So you know, once you go chuck some gear in and all that stuff as well, it's called cool, four and a half ton maybe once you're full of fuel and all that stuff, and you know, full to the tanks, full fridges and all that. It drives awesome. Like you can't even really tell that 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 weight is there. I sort of really not really know what to expect, like driving with a big canopy set up and all that, but like, it's so smooth, it's so quiet in here. Like that's what, like I'm, if it's gonna get one little rattle, I start freaking out. So this is so nice to drive. Like it's kind of, it's the difference between the pet, uh, the petrol and the diesel around that we drove. Like, I just like that you can hear the engine. Like after having the, after having the patrol, like just that petrol V8 sound, you just can't. You can't beat it, and just having that bit of a bit of a note, that bit of V8 rumble, like it's just it's just so good. The only little thing I can't get used to, or I, I will get used to it, is it's on the footwell down here. I think this is like with the conversion, they with the footwells. Um, they're sort of the footwell is still. Is that over your side, Michael? Have you got the footrest thing down there? Uh, you got more room because the left know, left to so. right hand drive. I think her footwell's a bit bit uh, a bit more than mine. So like your feet kind of feel like a little bit cramped up. Uh, under there, that's just like one little thing that I've kind of, I kind of noticed, but I kinda, I'm instantly kind of used to it uh, already. But just yeah, one thing on this is the fuel economy as well. Like we're gonna take this a bit more of a drive. <laughs> Here I am, I always get all these people asking me, oh, what's the fuel economy? What's the fuel? Economy? That was like one of the first questions I asked Mike. I'm like, oh my god, now I'm one of those bloody guys. <laughs> but again, being petrol, obviously, it is gonna use more fuel. Like the the diesels, that's what you that's what you want for hauling. But we're trying to get best of both worlds, like the American truck, the weight, the canopy and all that stuff, plus still about to do some pretty, some pretty full on full driving because that's what we love to do and that's what, that's what we, that's what we want to keep on doing. It bloody goes hard. It goes hard. I'm trying to compare it to the Patrol, it's hard but we've been in a TRX to this, but I just feel like it gets up to the, it gets up to speed 
pretty bloody quickly and this thing's like obviously this has probably got oh it's yeah seven eight hundred kilos on the patrol too so i think if this was weight to weight i think this would bloody i reckon this would probably actually give it to it but very very nice again we're sort of combining that patrol v8 into a truck like this i'm so glad we drove this thing i'm really i'm really liking it This is no uh, power wagon ring, rig rundown or okay mate rig rundown, but we thought we'd have a bit of a, I don't know anything about this freaking thing, but it's just so cool to see. Uh, just, yeah, we've never had a canopy before, so we've just gone so long with like, we're like, oh, we've only got a drawer and a fridge, that's all we've sort of needed. Max tracks are now on the roof rack, so like, do we need a canopy? But then once you've sort of seen this room in here, the fridge, the potential, like just for, it could take day, just day trips and maybe even can chuck a rooftop, even having an awning. We haven't got an awning at the moment just because we can't do it weight wise. Yeah. So there's all this sort of stuff that we've had to, we've been fine without it again. Like, yeah, you it can seems go, we have to go without, but you can go without it, but seeing you know, it, different because we've gone without it. Yeah, that makes sense. driving this thing, if it's got the, if the off road, we're, we're gonna take this thing off road, he's gonna, he's gonna let us, which is very, very freaking brave of him. Uh, we, can, we can take it out for a spin because that's my only thing is to see what this thing is gonna be like. How good is it going to be off-road? So if we can have that petrol noise, mm. that off-road capability, we can, you know, if we, if we do get one, we'd probably go 37s, it's got 35s, it's because mm. I want to, and have all this in the back here. Man, like how, and about a tow four, four and a half ton. Like how do you, how do you beat that and live in it? Like this will take living in the car and the van to a whole new level. So just quickly, like we got my own parts this year, Kayla, just so we can sort of see here. We get this nice little drawer. This is the off-road creative. Uh, this is this is uh, a couple of years old, I think. This canopy, so just so much more storage in here to to have, which is so freaking cool. Our, gre our mates are uh, Greg and Ali and Brendan on here, and you get a traveling camper sticker on there ASAP. So big stand up fridge, couple of lights now. I really like the whole black. I really like the whole uh, just sort of blacked out sort of look. I don't want to mess too much. Just probably got his buddy G strings down here. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, again, just always Max tracks gear in there. Recovery bag in there. Big deep drawers. So. One thing I was like, I didn't know if having so much with the canopy like inside, we, again, we haven't done corrugations that with this thing yet, but just I'm leaving a little bumps in around town where like you usually get some couple of rattles now inside of the car. It's dead quiet. Like it is dead quiet. I'm like, you know, is any like, can you hear the canopy or does it you know, like anything like that? But just, it just feels factory. It just feels like the canopy isn't even on there. So again, couple of big, deep, big, deep drawers. Uh, come on this side, Kayla. Again, this is where yeah, you got your travel buddy, so you can go. I know our mates are uh, Ransom off road. He's got like the whole Bunnings catalog in here, <laughs> our Harvey Norman catalog, uh, just electrical appliances uh, through there. So, oh, one thing I didn't, I uh, see this be your, your outdoor kitchen or whatever you want to sort of put in there. Um, I know Mike's got his induction cooktop, which is uh, awesome. So your prepping table on that, how good it be just pulling up on the beach side of the road or whatever and just and just pulling this out which is freaking sweet so there's again another drawer just there i don't know what he's got in there again it's exactly the same as the front there so so much storage and it's come out in the side of you kayla so yeah jerry can holders now in the back uh your ladder to jump up on the roof there so you could easily chuck a rooftop ten or something on there there's a little slide out drawer there um yeah we'd probably go with the one one spare wheel as well i would imagine we we'll split this side up here See how much storage is in, is in here. So, we've got the, the Eco Gear Boom Box, and a lot of the lads are using these, so we'll have to fire that up and see what it's like. Just the finish of this thing is just so awesome. Just chucking in your, we could probably even chuck a mountain bike in here, I reckon. If you take the wheels and that off, you could probably, maybe one, I don't know, but plenty of room here just to, yeah, chuck chairs and stuff in, going for the beach run, surfboard, all that stuff. So, motorbike gear, um, just, yeah, so much, so much space in here again. They've got the big, Slide out drawers here again. I think there is some knickers in there actually. <laughs> There's so much, so much storage and just all these, uh, all the batteries and everything's, everything's just really hidden. I really like the job of this canopy. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, but just shows it's really uh, opened us up to how much space and that you can have. And I think this would be so handy traveling. Just yeah, this thing is ticking a lot of boxes so far. One thing that I really like about the Power Wagon is there's a little, um, 
so the park to drive down here, the little digital um, toggle down there where the, the diesels have the big old column shift, which is kind of cool, but when we drove it was like, it just felt pretty kind of old school. But then the downfall, which like is kind of, it's really like your old, it's got your shifter down here for your full low and that down here on your box, which is kind of, again, I don't know, it kind of feels like, a, it kind of feels a bit old school as well, but and it kind of looks a little bit down there as well, but not really this kind of, again, it kind of, <laughs> It kind of compensates, compensates for each other. This looks really cool, really easy to use. You only get really use that when you're going into four low and four high, rather than just, you know, on the patrol, we're just, you know, again, if it was, if I had to switch this here, four low, four high, that'd be sick. I don't know whether the new models do. I don't think this thing might be a couple of years old. I'm not sure whether they do or not. Um, but in this one, that is a bit of a, yeah, pros and pro and con there, I guess. But again, once you sort of have it and drive it, I don't think you'd really even care. Well, we cannot thank uh, Mike and the team here enough at SCD Performance. This has literally been, this has been a bit of a dream come true. It's been so good to uh, just share this with you guys. That thing there was a dream come true to be able to drive. I've been looking at these things for so freaking long to be behind the wheel of one of those things and drive it. And that thing with that thing with the lift and 37s is just, it's insane. Is just epic. It's just so freaking smooth. Like it was, it was amazing. So I'm getting one of those one day. I don't one care. Day. But yes. there's no point get one now because we don't have anywhere to store it. it just it'll be like a get driv driven a once couple a year. once a year or something because we, we're going to be away traveling. So this girl, you are still my baby. Don't sorry, it's been such a such a yeah, it's been such a uh, a day of just driving and everything else and all that. But yeah, in this power wagon up here, this is this has really opened up our eyes it's to a lot of clarity this has helped us so much just to get in here see it all for yourself mm -hmm. driver these guys have been so freaking accommodating it's just been absolutely epic it's just helped us so much because this is where we're really at that stage we're like do we build another patrol you know then we like would love to build a, big, a bigger car then we can have a bit more stuff and like you take the motorbikes plus the mountain bikes plus a bit more water plus if you know it gives that opens up the freedom to go to a, a bit of a bit bigger um a big, bigger van one day as well. Yeah. Like if you did have a kid one day, you had to go bunk van. So like everything just gets bigger. I don't know. Right? I don't know. We're still we're like on that border right now where it's like we we are okay what we're doing, but we we can't fill our water tanks. All like we're so on that border, it's not funny, mm -hmm. and it's just having having that worry, I guess, and just having just like, load it up good. Yeah, not even have to think about. Not yeah. have to worry about that stuff. It's and just, just yeah, having the comfort, the and go. comfort out of that ram, that was mm. that was really, really nice. Was so good. this, I just know there's so many people that are in this situation that we are right now. So this is just yeah, a bit of a I hope it's really helped out a bit. Just, just sharing the day of being able to drive these things alone has been absolutely friggin' awesome. So you didn't get to drive it, unfortunately. No, that's but okay though. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you you can't drive in cities anyway. So once we have one, I'll let you drive it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.